Hello everyone, it's Jonathan here, founder of Driving Academy, and today we're going to be talking about when are self-driving trucks actually coming? Or when are the actual self-driving cars coming in the first place? So today we're kind of, I'm going to kind of walk you through the facts of what's actually happening in this world, and we'll always be updating you because this is something that is super important to us in our industry and the people that we serve. So what is actually happening in the self-driving truck world itself? Is this even a reality? Is this something that's coming within the next year? Is it going to be five years? Is it going to be 10 years, 10, 20 years? How long is it going to be? Uh, af after doing all the research that I've done, I still believe that we're at least 10 to 15 years out from this actually becoming a reality. So there's a few different parts when it comes to self-driving trucks. The first part is the technology. So I'm a firm believer within the next five years that the technology is going to be good enough where they can actually do start, start self-driving trucks, right? And they're probably going to start off on, on highways and longer routes. Um, but that's only one piece of the puzzle. The other piece of the puzzle, uh, puzzle is going to be the actual litigation or the rules behind it, right? So the way that you have to think about this logically is politicians make the rules. They make the laws. Now, how do politicians get into office? They actually get into office by people voting for them. And if they create a law that will destroy... 3 million jobs, that's right, that's 3 million truck drivers because there's no more self, because there's only self-driving trucks out there. Do you think those politicians will make that law to lose all those potential votes? I don't, I don't think so myself, but it is up to you to decide which way you want to go. And that's the biggest part that most people don't talk about, which is the big wild card. What is the government going to say? When you look at history and you kind of look back at, for instance, airplanes. If you think about it, airplanes have been pretty much fine themselves for the past 30 years. But by law, you're still required to have a pilot. So it does the same thing going to apply for trucking? That's something that we're going to find out. But if I was a betting man, I would say that's why I'm, I'm envisioning at least 10 to 15 years out, simply because the law is going to take a lot longer than the technology would be here. And then the other piece that you do have to worry, uh, worry about is going to be infrastructure, right? So when it comes to the actual infrastructure of, the, of this entire country, how do you actually have a truck maneuver around different things that are actually in an infrastructure that could be crumbling when some very busy streets or how how do you actually relay the trucks going how do you fuel up the trucks so all these things about infrastructure still have to be kind of worked out and that's why we are still a while away i mean a lot of companies want to go fully electric uh, when it comes to the car manufacturers itself but where are you going to fuel up on your electric uh, electricity right I'm not seeing any uh, electric gas stations coming on up or electric stations coming up to fill up your car real quick so Tesla's really the only one that's doing it if there's no other places in the market uh, that's going to really delay because infrastructure is super important and it takes a long time to actually get things going on that end and then the last thing is going to be the human element right so this is one thing that many people don't talk about say in, we're in a world where trucks just drive themselves completely now, in many, many cases, they're going to say that truck, trucks that drive themselves are driven by robots or by AI, they're going to be a safer vehicle, right? So that means that they're going to be able to have less accidents and so on and so forth. However, once one child or one dog or one human gets killed by a self-driving truck, what do you think is actually going to happen? Even if they are safer than humans, in our society as of now at least, a human can make a mistake and kill another human and that's more acceptable than a robot making a mistake and killing a human when you really think about it. So if that does happen, which it's probably going to happen simply because of what happens, whether it's human error or robot error, whatever it's going to be, nothing's perfect out there. Now what's that going to do to the whole uh, truck self-driving truck kind of movement that's going on there? So those are all different things to kind of think about. I would, I would say if you're looking to get a CDL license, now is actually the best time to get going because we are seeing a huge boom and in increasing when it comes to demand for truck drivers. Right now there's over 150,000 driver shortages in this country alone and we keep seeing companies increasing their pay and wanting to hire our drivers right out of school. So we offer lifetime job placement program for all of our students if you're looking to get a CDL license, which means that we can actually guarantee that you walk away with the CDL and help you get into a job for the rest of your life up until the day you die. So if you are interested and you want to make as much money as possible before all this humble bumbo stuff is coming in, definitely we want to give us a call at 908-525-3609 or check out our virtual school tour if you want to figure out our pricings at cdldrivingacademy.com. Again, that's cdldrivingacademy.com. Thanks. Have a fantastic day.
Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel. It's really going to help us out. Click on that button. And if you want to continue yourself on your road to freedom, here's more videos to watch. There's endless amounts. Hopefully, we get to see each other one day very soon. Thanks.